Yeah. See, we were looking at the active conspirators, and we were looking at what the effect that causes on us in terms of male behavior. We may not be able to control or to change Reagan, Rockefeller, Weinberger, but your question we can change. We can look at some mothers. And I said some, not all. The rumor is that some mothers raise their daughters and love their sons. My boy always loved his mama. 40 years of age, still went home with you. That needs to stop. Your boy is not yours. He is a future husband, a future father. It needs to be raised that way. Now, what do I mean by raise? Teach your son how to cook, to make up his own bed, to clean up his own bathtub ring because you raised your daughter. On the honor roll, every marking period. Go to church with you every Sunday. And she can cook, so uh, and clean and all, but then we have your son. Ain't never seen an honor roll. He plays basketball all evening long. Never goes to church and can't boil a hot dog. The rumor is we have some, not all, raising their daughters and loving their sons. Now, I know the historical reason. The historical reason is our societies always try to destroy black men, the lynchings. So black mothers always want to overprotect their sons. What's the reason today? I know the KKK is on the rise, but what's the reason today? Is it because your own black man didn't stay? You now replaced your man with your son? Your son is not yours. He's a future husband, a future father, and needs to be raised that way. Quit telling these nine-year-old boys they the man of the house. Ain't no nine-year-old boy ready to be no man of the house. But because you told him that, he now begins to wonder. When you then bring over your man for the evening, Mom, I thought I was the man of the house. Why are you bringing him over? You can't have it both ways. If he's going to be the man of the house, quit bringing your boyfriend over on Saturday nights. You know what's sad, though? These brothers think what they can do with their mamas, they can do with their teacher, yes. their coach, and everybody else. In other words, living at home with you in a hundred dollar pair of gym shoes, eighty pair, eight dollar pair of a, a, a Gucci handbag. In other words, these boys have mastered how to manipulate their mamas, and they think what they can do with you, they can do with everybody else. Only to find out what you let them get away with, no one else does. In other words, 90% of all teenage pregnancy programs counsel the women. We have teenage pregnancy running rampant. But as far as the last time I looked, it took two to make a baby. But 90% of the programs let the brothers off the hook. The real question is, who is going to teach blind boys to be responsible? And you don't start when he makes a baby. In other words, the real question is, who's going to teach blind boys to be responsible for his personal hygiene? For his clothes, for his chores, for his room, for his siblings, for the allowance, for his studies, for his toys, for his schedule, and then his sex life. You don't start responsibility at 16. It starts very early. For example, when I was growing up, my father opened up a mutual fund account for me. And every year on my birthday, he explained to me, this is how much money you have in your account. But if you make a baby, all your money is going to take care of your child. Should it be any different? If I enjoy making it, should I also take care of it? So my oldest son was 15. I told him, I've been doing the same thing with him, the nine-year-old and the 15-year-old. So he told me last year, he said, Daddy, this money looks so good to me, I've just decided I'm not ever making me a baby. I'm keeping all my money to myself. But the point is the boy understands responsibility. He understands if I make a baby, you will take care of it. There are mothers who know their son impregnated some girl on the same block, and they say, well, you know, boys will be boys. Yeah. They will be whatever you let them be. Yeah. I want to pause now. Explain this. Why are some mothers raising their daughters and loving their sons? Did you grow up in a household where you did more work if you had a sister than your brothers did? Why is that? And you know what else I believe? I believe that child rearing has a lot to determine in marriage. In other words, marrying a mama's boy is a very critical mistake. Because they can always go back to their mamas. Son, your room is just the way it always was. Got your favorite pound of cake whenever you want to get there. It is terrible marrying a mama's boy.